Hi everyone, thank you for joining us in another episode of Chats and Chops. My name is Victoria and we have come again! <laughs> we have come again! Oh, Father, we have come again! Wow! <laughs> It's so good to see everyone. Um, we've not actually recorded a video in a while because so much has happened. I think for me, it was actually a lot of me. Um, I don't know if it, everybody knows, people don't know, whatever. My mom passed last year and when she did, I didn't take any break like at all. I just kept on going on with life like nothing happened. And then I got to a point where I just broke down and I was like, you know, I can't do this anymore. So I got off Instagram for like six months, stopped recording videos. And then I feel like now it's not like I am myself but i'm just in a place where i feel like i could you know continue with life so here we are and yeah we're excited to be here today what are we talking about dating in 2021 2020 and 2021 in the pandemic oh, oh before yeah, we start right. actually food jello fries yes and me that i'm going to be puzzling <laughs> and banana bread and I shall miss my banana bread with my own product. Oh yay! She developed this at her company. No, it's, no, my company developed oh, this. Oh, company developed this. Yes. It's a um, plant-based cream cheese. It's yes. called Nature's Fine. So we'll be eating that with the banana bread. So stay tuned, everybody, and we will be right back. Yay! Welcome back, everybody. Um, so like we said earlier we're going to talk about dating in 2020 2021 which i like to refer to as pandemic dating so i was actually in a relationship during the pandemic <laughs> <Which way? laughs> <Yes>. remember <laughs> oh, <laughs> that. oh oh yeah yeah oh, so yeah. we oh, broke yeah. up during the pandemic and then i started seeing other people obviously but i was like you know what <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know she was like, wait, who is that? I forgot about him. So like, you know what? Let me try this Hinge and Tinder thing. And she also joined Hinge and Tinder. Actually, you joined Hinge and Tinder before I did. No, no. So Tinder was when I was in, in no, no. What am I saying? When I was in Madison, I've not joined Tinder this year. This year, no, no, no. Okay. I joined Hinge, and I unjoined Hinge quickly. Okay. And for me, it was just very simple. Honestly, I just the small talk. It, it was painful. So you're not on Hinge right now anymore? No, 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 I'm not on Hinge. Why? Like, what, like what would you describe as your experience? It was just, like people just, it felt like as if I was going through an interview, number one. And I think also for me mentally, because I before we started this video, because asking you, I said, I don't know what was different from me and you, but I don't, mentally, I think I deduced it. Okay, first and foremost, I was irritated by the response and the way men were trying to get to know me, right? <laughs> and also, I think the second thing also is that most of the men there, we're not really professionals. Mm. For me, and I'm not being shady. I'm not being shady. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that, you know, we, we need all men in every field. <laughs> but where I'm at in my life, you know, they were not as professional as I wanted them to, to be. be. And then the conversation was just a little bit like, oh, what do you bring to the table? And I'm like, my, my, my guy, USPS driver? Yeah. Ask me what yeah. I do to the table? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. the whole damn table. But okay, yeah. we that great. <laughs> we that great. So. This is the whole table. <laughs> but, so I was just like, you know what? Do I need to deal with this? Yeah. I think mentally I wasn't just like, I don't, I don't think like I want to date. You know, like I don't know. I'm tired. I, personally, 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 I'm just tired of dating. I just want to be friends with people and see where it goes. And just see where it goes. Like I want to build strong friendships and relationships and see where it goes. But Funke, hey, my guy. Magic. Hey. I actually put in a lot of effort in um, dating like last year and this year. I think because for me, it's not like, I won't say I don't believe in love per se, but I believe in giving people chances and trying things. So you saying that, you know, you want to know somebody and, you know, see where it goes. I'm the same way too, but I also feel like there's a lot of, you can still find that man on Hinge or Tinder or whatever. So how now, you go about finding, like, no, now there's no finding. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with the apps. I actually gave it a lot of chances. No, but I gave it a lot of chances. Oh my time. God. How do you yeah, so I was time? very open, like a lot of times, because I'm non-traditional. So I'll be the one to like, even if I match somebody, I could say, hey, first and whatever, or they could say, hey, first, it really doesn't matter. And they would decide to go on dates. And I've had like the worst worst dating experiences on there what's the worst one the worst one for me was the guy that tried to rape me yeah like we we're talking for a while and ladies no matter how comfortable you are with a guy like learn from my mistakes don't ever go to his house like let's like be, get to know him way better first 
so like we've been talking for a while right and we're very very comfortable so it was like oh you know we went to eat it was like oh do you want to come to my house after like we just uh, drink wine and just talk more and for me i'm very free i'm very open like if you just say you want to talk i will assume you want to talk you know what i'm trying to say because i'm not the kind of i'm not traditional like i said earlier so if i feel like you want to have sex i think you should actually say that you want to have sex because come on now we're not children anymore so when i got there it like tried everything to have sex with me even literally almost raped me i had to start for me like i was vomiting remember i told you i had to go to the toilet and i was like vomiting and stuff like oh i'm so sick i have to leave and obviously when i left he blocked me and then i reported him to hinge and hinge was like oh this is against our rules and platform they're gonna remove him from the platform it was just like a lot like i think it's been g for what g for ghetto but that's just my experience obviously there's a lot of people that have met people on you know dating apps but i just think and i've been actually met my last boyfriend on a dating app so i don't know if i could compare and contrast from before the pandemic to during the pandemic i think this has changed i think this has changed i was talking to one of my very good friends at work i'm not going to shout out his name so as i said we're not swear <laughs> but you know you're saying i'm <laughs> and we're talking about just dating in general i told him because it's always like ah uh, are you how can you not get dates i want people not dating you but i in just in general life. yeah yeah and i said to him i'm like for me personally like I feel like the way he describes all dating app of those days to now is just completely different. different. I don't yeah. know what it is, but I'm not seeing what he's seeing. Or maybe actually, let me let, let me put mm. this out there. Let me let me make a very provocative comment, right? Maybe women have consistently be the same because he's a guy. Maybe when I actually evolved and become better, and maybe men are just the same. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> or low standard. Or I also think there's now more cooks in the pots like because of the pandemic there's more people who are online more people are using their phones so because of that like more people want to date and a lot of relationships actually failed during the pandemic so that means now we have almost a larger pool of men but we have a larger pool of men that nobody wants but you won't know till you date them right like wait <laughs> who is this person there was this guy that i remember i had to block him because he was telling me that he would make me orgasm now for transparency <laughs> For transparency, she's laughing because she remembers. For transparency, I don't orgasm from uh, vaginal sex, and a lot of people don't, you know. So I was telling him, I was like, no, you can't make me orgasm. You know, it's not possible. Now goes, oh, is it Com King? Like, that's his name, and it's gonna even put a bet on it. So it's gonna make me orgasm. Oh my, that's how I blocked him more. I'm like, what was this? Like, why are we putting a bet on my vagina? Like, I'm confused. And it's not even just me, because I was just thinking. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was thinking maybe it's just me but then I've had conversations with a lot of my other single friends on dating apps and it's been similar things so Laura I'm not missing anything you're not missing anything no you're not maybe I need to start dating women no I mean I wouldn't take it that far shout out to my women shout out shout out <laughs> shout out to all the women that love women shout out um but what was I going to say you won't take it that far I won't take it that far I think me I believe in love Funky always knows me I mean, there's no Korean love movie that Tony has not watched. Shout out to my K-pop fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, believe in yeah, love. Yeah. And you know, I believe in that, you know, love, like, people call it love exists. School, but I believe in love, that love exists. I don't know, I just think, I don't know, I, personally, I just think dating app is not for me. Like, I, I, whatever I've tried, mm -hmm. it, it just seems to be quirky they yeah. irritate yeah, me yeah there's always something and like i said i've always asked myself like is it maybe i'm not ready so i think it's two things like probably i'm not ready and i'm not in the right frame of mind mm -hmm. because my mind is just focused on being friends like i mean it's been a long two years mm -hmm. three years for some people three years for me it's been a long three years yeah, so for really me three years no it's just in general like it's been a long three years for me so what it, do you mean three years like pandemic or dating? pandemic like okay. since i guess since what what are you mean 2021 oh thank you mm -hmm. praise lord so two okay. years it's been a long two years yeah so since mm -hmm. yeah 2000, 2019 it's just been a long three years for me so i just feel like i just need time i don't people i want to be friends with people first which is okay i think a lot of people are like that too on this app but people are not honest with you that's the problem. I could come at you with this energy, but they're actually not honest with what exactly what they want. I this thing that you described, like it's really beautiful. It's such a beautiful thing that you describe what you want, but people can't describe it. And then when they get to know you, they try to figure it out as they're getting to know you. And it's like, no, I don't have time for that. Like I'm emotionally available. I want to meet somebody, grow with the person, yeah. but you're still trying to figure yourself out. Please, you don't use me as experiment. You know, that's how I feel. At least. Just like the guy, I know I always have stories, right? <laughs> 
plan the now story. Sorry, I'm having you. And this is brings me back to the guy that you know we met in February of this year. So find out that like a month later I was telling him that oh I love you, I can't do with that, I want to marry you. So find out that he just got out of an engagement and he was still figuring himself out right from the engagement. So he wasn't even ready for anything. And I have to literally sit him down like you need to figure out what you want like you need to not waste people's time because when i say that i love you i want to do this i want to do that like the other person is thinking that you're actually serious but you're not like it's okay to tell the person i'm vocal that hey i didn't even know he just got an engagement i actually found out through somebody else that he just got off an engagement i literally had to sit him down i said it's okay to say you know what i just got off an engagement i'm trying to see where things go versus you leading people on and be like oh i love you i do this i do that like typical nigerian girls tell them that you love them mama we are getting married though are you mad like but me i'm not like that like i'm just like no like you can you can be going sure you get so that's what i think the problem is with the daddy food these days people are not honest in what they want okay you chose violence today i Jack. chose violence today <laughs> I mean, the video is all about talking about our dating experiences, is it not? So what? So so let me ask you. So let me challenge you on this. In these two years that you've been dating, right? Mm -hmm. well, what have you learned? Oh, one year. Okay. Mm -hmm. One year. Mm -hmm. What have you learned? Number one. Whether good or bad, what have you learned? And in the bad, what would you? What can you do better? So I've learned that honesty is key. Like okay. I just said, like you have to be very, very vocal and honest about what you want. Mm -hmm. Like from the time I dated my ex-boyfriend to now, it's been like over a year. I'm mean, sorry, the time I broke up with my ex to now, it's been over a year. So I think the time to um, do soul searching, you know, obviously I was grieving for my mom's death. I've taken the time to grieve. I've taken the time to basically be available for other people. So I think you have to be honest about where you are and what you actually want. And with the bad, I think it's okay to be more open-minded like sometimes when i meet people i'm very very open-minded don't get me wrong when i meet people like i tend to sometimes just want to gauge them but the thing is if you are too open-minded people see it as a bad thing you know what i'm trying to say like but like how? in the sense that like they see it as like your non-traditional some men just want really really traditional women like the most recent date i just went like from the vibe it was giving me it just wanted like a really really traditional woman and i was just open and you know just being myself you get what i'm trying to say so Sometimes a lot of people will see that as a bad thing, but I just want to challenge people to also be more open-minded because you just never know who you might meet. I mean, it's a fair point. It's a, you just never know. Like, you can't just be like, oh, I'm a certain way, and that's it. You just never, ever, ever know. But that's my experience. Me, I want the person that I love to love me back. That's simple, right? That's, it. that's simple. That's but then again, you know what? That should actually be our next video. Like, why are you single? Because I feel like sometimes people that I like don't like me back necessarily. Why am I single? Yeah, that should be our next video. The world is not ready for me. <laughs> the men are not ready for me. What I mean, you that's very good or bad. That I don't like on <laughs> It's too much stress. All that whole English of somebody be asking you, tell me a time that you that yeah. you fell on the floor. Or what's the difference between love and money? Oh my god. Honesty and marriage. Right. Like bro, like, is this a like <laughs> is this is this, is this an interview? And then when you answer, what do you like? Up or less sex which you're like, bro. Yeah. What is this? No, so honestly I just found out that dating app is not for me. Yeah. I like going out. Mm. I like meeting people. Meeting people, that's the best way. Or a mutual friend, yeah. somebody that knows you. Like, I know Tido, I know she's a great person. Yeah. And if I link up with somebody who I also know is a good person, that's like literally the best way. You guys, if you know anybody that is single and is good and has money, mm. what does that sound like, Toby? <laughs> Hit us up. <laughs> Bro, on that note, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Please um, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ideas on what you want us to talk about next, we're more than happy to hear from you, right? I need to eat this meat. I don't want to eat it on camera because I need to like demolish it. This I am supposed to, to do. Uh huh. Let's. Uh huh. Uh. Mm mm. And so, okay, real quick before we go, I prepared something for you. This or that. Lightning round. Real, real quick. This or that. Let me pull it up. Dog or cat. Dog. Netflix or YouTube? Lightning round. Netflix or YouTube? Quick, quick, quick. Is that okay? I choose Netflix. Phone Netflix, maybe for normal day. YouTube for sleeping. YouTube at the background. Phone call or text? Ah, phone call always. Text. Always. Big always. party or small gathering? Both. 
small gathering. New Look. clothes or new phone? Ah, ah. For, are you kidding me? Have you seen me? Have you seen my fashion sense? So new clothes. Send me your new clothes. Rich friend or loyal friend? Both. I don't understand that. See, how can I be having a loyal friend that's small? God, stop it. Shout out to all my friends. Nice hey. car. Nice car or nice home interior? Both. Wait, hold on. Are we trying to be poor in this life? <laughs> I don't get it. I, I don't understand. Let me tell you something. As a child of God, <laughs> you can have both. Yeah, exactly. You don't have choices in this life. Don't let, don't let, don't let the devil trick you, bro. What's worse, laundry or dishes? Oh, I, I hate dishes. I, I can do never do dishes in my life. Oh, no, I hate dishes. I hate, I hate dishes. I hate dishes. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much, everyone. See you guys next week. We love you. Bye.